it's your girl Amoy and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'll be showing you guys how I choose this color. So if you want to see it then stay tuned. To advise like disclaimer, it does get pretty messy. So, so if you want to see what I did then definitely stay tuned. Let me know in the comments below what kind of video you'd like to see next. And yeah, let's get on to the video. Okay, so I'm not very good at this, but I'm gonna try my best and see if I can navigate this video. So, bear with me, guys. So, first, you wanna start off by parting your hair into sections. I did mine a bit chunky, but you can do yours a bit smaller, which would work more efficiently in your favor. Now, what I do is start by parting my hair off so that it's much, much easier to work with. And the smaller you do it, the better. That way you have more products distributed even you throughout your hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the dye directly to the bottom of my hair where it is darker. Just so I can have like a gradient look coming from like really really dark purple and having it getting lighter as it reaches to the middle of my hair. I originally wanted to create a gradient here from purple to pink but I couldn't find the colors that I needed so I just decided to go free for all and just freestyle a look. So the purple dye that I'll be using is the Avatar Secret Violet in 784 and this is the closest color to like an actual purple that I could find at the time. So let's make it work. You guys if you hear a lot of noise in my background it's like Literally after 11 and you have motorcycles by driving up and down the road. You have my neighbor next door that looks like on the hill to me. He works at night and he builds like furniture and stuff. So if you hear banging, that's him working. And I live in the country area of Jamaica. So if you hear mongrel dog, they run about the back. I just say go country life. Country life, bush life, may nothing I can do. <laughs> Nappy hair problems. So what I'm doing because I have chunkier parts, what I'm doing is I'm combing the product. Sorry, <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm combing the product through my hair so that the middle of my hair gets product onto the hair instead of like me overlapping and not getting product onto that part of my hair or whatever, if you understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but yeah.
so yeah when you're dying in here you want to make sure that you get everything correctly you don't want to have like some parts purple and some parts still with just the bleach color so you know you have to make sure you get them pepper greens as well girl get them pepper greens So once I'm finished applying the purple, I'm gonna just take the last eight folds, and then I'm gonna start applying the other color. Where at the end of my hair, where um, I stop applying the other color, and then take it right down to the end. I now only have on one gloves because I couldn't find the other gloves, but. It is what it is guys, make sure when you're doing your hair you wear a gloves because it does get pretty messy, pretty quick. And the color that I'll be using is the Avatar Rose Pink in 7288. I'm gonna just apply, like I said before, I'm gonna apply that where I remove the ribbon. So wherever the purple is stopped, that's where I'm gonna start from and apply the pink from there right down to the end of my hair.
So what I'm doing right here is I'm just using my fingers to comb the product through my hair and then I'm scrunching it in so that the product like sticks to my hair more. And then after that, when I'm finished, I'm just gonna wrap my hair into a plastic bag so that it can steam and then the color can just sit on my hair for a while so that it stains my hair a lot better than it would. And I'm gonna leave that in my hair for around half an hour, 25, 25 minutes to half an hour should be okay. Then I'm gonna wash it out and come back and show you guys how it would look. Like I said previously, it does get pretty, pretty messy very quickly. So as you can see, my hands are stained because I was touching the dye with my hair. I was touching the dye with my hand, the dye with my hair, what the hell am I really? <laughs> but yeah, after I've washed out my hair, this is how it looks. As you can see, the product probably like didn't touch some parts of my hair. But that was my fault because I had such chunky parts. But nevertheless, it does look pretty good if I do say so myself. But the lines at the top is where it's stained because I did not use any petroleum jelly and also at the back of my hair. But what you can do to get this out is that you can get a piece of cloth, dip it with some alcohol, and just rub it on your skin with some rubbing alcohol that is. And just rub it on your skin and that should take the stain out so that's what I'm doing as, as you can see it does lift the stain so you can do this like twice or like two to three times and you should be pretty good afterwards like definitely so there you can see like where it's like more purple and then where I'm rubbing the alcohol is a bit lighter so yeah just go ahead and use some rubbing alcohol use a piece of cloth and wipe that stain away and you should be good that's it guys thank you for watching this video if you like then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Also, let me know in the let me know in the comments below what kind of video you'd like to see next or what color you'd like me to dye my hair into next. And as always, be creative, be bold, be beautiful, be you. Bye!